Hey guys, starting a new project, thought you might want to follow along. This is a uh, Volkswagen Vanagon Synchro and we're putting a uh, 1999 2.5 liter Subaru single overhead cam in it. It was having some cooling issues to begin with so we're going to remove this radiator and install a new one. Took the grill off and I've loosened the bleeder valve. Remove the fan connections the fan switch on the front of the radiator and the brackets that are above the spare tire holder. So now we'll remove the actual radiator brackets. That one's already out. And pull the radiator out. Here she is. Let's pull the fan and fan shroud off. And there's the gap waiting for a new radiator. Woohoo! New radiator. New radiator in. While the coolant is draining at the back of the engine, let's take the exhaust off. Wow, big old crack. Beautiful magna flow. Not going to end up using this catalytic converter. I took off the splash shields. And next up, I'm going to loosen up the transmission to engine mounting bolts. Loosen up the cross member mounting bolts and then lower the van to start taking apart the engine bay. 2.1 in all of its glory. The wiring harness is disconnected. The power steering has been drained. Now I'm going to go and disconnect the ECU underneath the rear bench and pull the wiring harness. ECU cover ready to be pulled. ECU disconnected, grommet pushed in. Here's the grommet on the other side. ECU connector is out, and now we'll pull it out from the underneath and engine bay side. Zoink! Engine bay is looking a lot cleaner already. I removed the oil filler neck, disconnected and capped the fuel lines, and disconnected the coolant uh, crossover pipes here. I'll also have all of the mounting bolts undone, so now we're ready to pull the engine out. Transmission is supported, and a transmission jack underneath the engine. We're going to jack it up a little bit and take out the mounting bolts. As I start pulling, the gap grows between the engine and the transmission, and we're just going to gently ease it out. There we go. Everything's free. Transmission is separated, so I'm just going to lower the engine and pull it out. There's the engine, and there's the bay. Going to clean up a few things, prep a few things, and put the Subaru in. Bell housing is cleaned up, but I'm going to replace that input shaft seal. New seal in place, and I also took off the uh, old power steering lines. Going to remove the starter, but we're going to remove the actuator first. Actuator and bracket made it. And the starter. Now we have a nice hole waiting for a TDI starter. Old fuel lines out. New fuel lines going in. Lines are ready to install. Using a pull string really helps out. New lines in. Drilled a little hole and put a grommet for the return because on the Subaru I like to flip the fuel pressure regulator so that it exits toward the rear. Let's prep the back side of the engine now. Remove the flex plate. Now I'm going to replace the rear main seal and the plastic oil separator. Those are in. Let's do the adapter now. The adapter's in. Let's get the clutch equipment on. Engine is good to go. Let's throw in the throw-up bearing. There we go. Let's install the engine now. The engine is mated and ready to bolt up. Before I get the engine totally mounted in, I'm going to take care of the starter. So use the double nut method to take the lower stud out. Then I can put the Westy Ventures TDI starter adapter plate right here. The starter adapter is in now. Now let's throw in the starter. Starter is in. Here's a shot from the top. Now to get the locker actuator in. And there's the complete package.
Got the engine cross member in. The engine's mounted, so let's throw the exhaust on. Exhaust header is in, along with the muffler bracket. We have the catalytic converter delete pipe, the MagnaFlow muffler that was original, and the tailpipe, which is much too long and needs to get cut down. The main coolant pipes are roughed in, and I flipped the front at the uh, radiator so that uh, I could run them in this orientation. The intake is in. And this air box is from a 1984 Jaguar XJ6, and it connects to the snorkel just great. So I've relocated the snorkel to the driver's side. Temporarily connected the ECU. So we have the battery, the ignition on, and this is the fuel pump when I, uh, I'm going to temporarily connect it. But for now, just going to crank the engine over for about uh, 10 seconds. Cranked it over and uh, it's cranking like a madman. So I'm going to reconnect the main ignition relay. And I'm going to connect the uh, fuel pump wire and just turn it to ignition on. And we'll check to make sure everything looks good. In test mode. And the fuel pump is cycling. Starting to hear fuel come in and cycle back to the tank check engine light is doing its good thing and I hear the various sensors clicking on and off started it up it's running really poor though so when I inject ether into this vacuum port here it runs great um, like I said it starts up but it just runs really rough like uh, like it's not getting enough fuel so uh, when you inject ether, runs great. Fuel pressure uh, was about 50 PSI, and uh, actually, after a few attempts, it started idling on its own. It's in limp mode because O2 sensors aren't plugged in. It's got a couple other codes, but uh, looks like we're good. In limp mode, no O2 sensors. I installed the computer in the stock location with the stock housing. Just had to bend this flap down. Here's the OBD2 port and the test connectors and the code killer sits right in there. So the CEL check engine light is available. Here's a shot of the ECU and relays. Wiring harness goes through the original grommet there and runs back here to the black box. And the harness routes to the black box and made all the connections, the ignition on, the battery on starter oil all the uh, barrel connector connections I also put the tack uh, tachometer fix module in here so that uh, you don't have to modify the uh, tachometer itself filled up the coolant and bled the system so now we're ready to rock and roll The owner has this little fire suppression doohickey, so I'm going to go ahead and get this zip tied right over the uh, engine here. There we go. Let's go for a spin.
There we go. Rad little conversion. Rad synchro. Thanks for following and uh, thanks for commenting and subscribing. Cheers. Beep, 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 beep.